Hi, my name is Leroy Reamer. I'm the uh, owner of Triple R Knives. I started making knives when I was in high school, about the 10th grade. I went on a field trip with the uh, medals class. We went to Buck Knives off of Federal Boulevard and I just got interested in making knives back then. Did a couple other odd jobs and Buck Knife, I went to work for them about 1973, 74 around there. And worked for them for 17 and a half years. I worked on the line for three years, worked in customer service for four. And they, had, they seen some of the work I did when I was making special nice handles on them and inlays and stuff. And so I started working in a custom shop in 1980 and we were doing square hollows back then and I didn't like the square hollows so I decided to make a different hollow and I did like a radius hollow and about 1990 I decided to go on my own and I've been making custom knives ever since. Uh, I do a lot, for the first 10 years I did a lot of custom knives and that was fancy, fantasy daggers for people and, and a lot of skinners, a lot of hunters and then I got involved with the Collectors Club and I've been doing that for about 15 years. I've been made a lot of really nice looking handles for people. We do ironwood, cocobolo, mastodon ivory. Um, we do armadillo handles. We do uh, honey jig bone handles on them. Uh, we do a little bit of everything in the shop. Um, just something that I like doing. I've been doing it for a long time. Uh, I have a lot of customers that love the really fancy handles on knives. A friend of mine, Joel, asked me about a 440C series, how the sharpening was on it. And it's a lot easier to sharpen 440C for a normal person out in the field. Uh, you use a ATS-34, a BG-42. When it gets dull, a lot of people can't sharpen a knife. So we decided to come up with a series like a little caper, a skinner, uh, an all-around utility knife for people. And we decided to use 440C because it's easy to sharpen. And it's an all-around steel. It can take an abuse. You can put it in water, it don't rust. It won't. Uh, you can get blood on it, leave it on it. It won't tarnish it. No, it's really an all-around steel for an everyday use. On some of them, on like the honey jig bone ones, we'll put foul work on the top because they don't have a guard. Uh, and what the foul work is, is so your hand don't slip forward on the top of the blade and don't slip forward on the bottom. Because if it slips forward on the bottom, you're gonna slip off and cut yourself. 